Today, we're going to talk about the question that keeps us stuck. Have you ever asked yourself, why is this happening to me? Why me, God? Why are you allowing this? That question, the pursuit of the answer to that question will keep you stuck. Instead of continuing to ask why, 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 you get to reframe that question and wonder, how is this supporting me? What can I learn from this? How can this experience elevate my life? Those are questions that are gonna help you propel forward. They're gonna help you learn what you need from that experience. You're a victor, not a victim. Victims ask, why me, why me? Because there's nothing they can do about it. They're powerless. But you, as the victor of your life, you have the power to decide what you're going to do with your experience. I lost my daughter. I lost my daughter. My daughter died. I didn't want that. I didn't do anything to deserve that. I, I, I struggled with that. And I asked the question of why me? Until I realized that that question wasn't gonna enable me to honor and love my daughter in heaven. And that question wasn't going to support me in continuing to love and support my husband and my other children. That question kept me stuck and I don't want the same for you. The question you get to ask yourself is, how can I change this? How can I interpret it in a way that serves and elevates me? And I will share something. I always think of the scripture that says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him. I, I believe wholeheartedly that if something happens to me and to you, it's because something great can come out of it, a big blessing, and I am a testament to that. Although the most painful, excruciating thing in my life was to lose my daughter, the greatest blessings have come from that experience. I know that all works for the good in our lives. And we are the producers and the directors of the movie of our life. We may not be able to change some scenes and external situations. I cannot bring my daughter back. I can't change that. But as the producer and director of my life movie, I can choose what that's gonna feel like. I can choose how I'm going to interpret that in a way that serves and elevates me. You, my dear friend, you are going through what you're going through because there's good coming from it. And you get to embrace it and ask yourself, how can I learn from this? How can I rise bigger, stronger, better for it? And how can I better humanity by incorporating and teaching the lessons that I will learn from this? So congratulations on experiencing adversity because only you can learn and grow from it. And that is a gift you get to embrace. If this video spoke to you, please like and share with someone who may need to hear this. And for more resources, visit betterwithbetsy.com.